Hallelujah, hallelujah, beloved, all over the globe, all over the continent. It's your seven hundred and one bringing on this moment of prayer and truth, beloved. The passage is First Corinthians chapter fourteen, verse two, and the theme is tongue speaking as a weapon. Today is Friday, August 16, twenty twenty four, beloved. Shall we pray? Oh God, let the words of my mouth, oh God, and the meditation of all our hearts be acceptable unto you, God, your man, rock and man, redeemer. Amen. Beloved. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 2. For anyone who speaks in a tongue does not speak to people but to God. Indeed, no one understands them. They utter mysteries by the Spirit. Beloved, this verse has three main key points that I want to share with you. Beloved, number one is divine communication. Which means that does not speak to people but to God. Which means that speaking in tongues is direct communication with God. It bypasses our limited understanding and allows our spirit to connect with the divine in a profound way. Number two is spiritual encryption. Which means that no one understands them. This language is not understood by human intellect. Importantly, this includes our spiritual enemies. It's a form of encrypted spiritual communication, making it a powerful secret weapon in a spiritual warfare. Number three is spiritual mysteries. Alter mysteries by the Spirit through tongues. With this, we declare spiritual truths and mysteries beyond our conscious comprehension. We tap into God's infinite wisdom and power, releasing it into our circumstances. Beloved, in the name of the Lord, by speaking in tongues, we are engaging in spiritual warfare at a level beyond our natural understanding. We are declaring victory, breaking strongholds, and advancing God's kingdom in the spiritual realm. This weapon is not meant to gather dust. We have to use it daily. Speak in tongues during your prayer time. When facing challenges or even as you go about your day, let it become a continuous stream of power flowing from your spirit. Beloved, in the name of the Lord, speaking in tongues builds up your inner man, strengthens your faith, and aligns you with God's will. It's a way to pray perfect prayers when you don't know what to pray. In moments of weakness, confusion, despair, or spiritual attack, speaking in tongues can be your lifeline to divine strength and guidance. Brothers and sisters, in the name of the Lord, remember, this gift is available to all believers. If you haven't received it yet, ask God for it. He is eager to equip you fully for spiritual battle. But beloved, there is one thing that you have to note. There is one thing that you have to remember. If somebody tells you that I am speaking in tongues, and for that matter, speak the same thing after me, speak the same words after me, beloved, run for your life. It is fake. It is not genuine. Beloved, you have to have the love for it. You have to have the zeal for it. For it, you have to be born again, you have to be a believer. It is then that you can tap into speaking in tongues, beloved. As you speak in tongues, may every chain shackles be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you speak in tongues, may confusion be set in the camp of the enemy. As you speak in tongues, may whatever thing that good thing that the Lord has sent for you come to pass in the name of Jesus. As you speak in tongues, may the heavens be open unto you in the name of Jesus. As you speak in tongues, I pray. As you speak in tongues, I pray for somebody, those needing the fruit of the womb. May you tap into it. May you tap into it in the name of Jesus Christ. May 
may you tap into it right now. May you tap into it by the power of the Holy Ghost. I pray for those pregnant. I pray for those pregnant. I pray, I pray, I pray that as I declare, as I declare over your life right now, ah, that may you deliver and deliver peacefully. May you deliver and deliver safely in the name of Jesus Christ. All those pregnant, ah, may the good Lord cause you and may the good Lord help you so that you deliver peacefully and safely. Uh, may the good Lord give you rest and that in labor there will be safety. Throughout your labor you will experience safety and that you will deliver peacefully through Jesus Christ our Lord. Beloved, shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for the powerful gift of speaking in tongues. Lord, help us to recognize and use this weapon effectively in our spiritual battles. Oh, Lord God, strengthen us through this divine language and may it flow freely, oh God, from our spirit. From, from our spirit. For those who haven't received this gift, we ask that, oh God, you do impart it to them. May we all grow in our understanding and use of this spiritual weapon. Father, let our tongues declare your mysteries and your victory in every situation we face through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Beloved, you will hear same time the sound of my voice, either next week or tomorrow by this time. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. And may the Lord be gracious unto you. May the peace of Yahweh be your portion. A shalom. A shalom. Bye-bye.